guys, good morning. So, um, we are at the train station today. Um, we randomly thought of visiting Oxford and we're just in the waiting room again, guys. We miss our train again. There's nobody um, at the ticket area. So um, we have to bu uh, buy our ticket manually from the machine. Um, we wanted to buy it uh, from the um, actual ticket counter because last time when we went to Windsor, the ticket machine dispensed a wrong, um, wrong train tickets. So we still have to go to the till. But today there was just one on the till, one person on the till and the queue was quite long. So we just opted to buy it and make sure that the um, ticket machine will dispense the right ticket. And then, so anyway, to cut a uh, long story short, we just miss our train as again. And we're, we are in the waiting room waiting for the train. because I always get distracted and I always forget what to say but yeah so um, let me just give you an update once in a while so we're still in style waiting for the train to leave and then we're gonna get off at Reading We were lost. <laughs> yeah, that's what, what that's what we get in you know with the, with our unplanned trips. By the way, guys, um, the weather here is amazing. It's perfect, <laughs> sunny, and it's the, the wind is a bit. Um, what's it called? The breeze is quite cold, but it's just um, the perfect perfect weather for me. So I have to remove my jacket.
and we went to a different road. So yeah. It's just a nice building. Look at that. It's nice and quiet in this area. Hi, so um, we are in the grounds of um, Bodleian Library. As you can see, the, the building is really nice and old. I'm not sure if, yeah, that's it. So it's really nice. The, the architecture is really nice and old. And yeah, so we are just um, roaming around and trying to see um, what we can, where we can explore here of the um, University Church. We were um, at the back earlier. Shop here, which is um, it looks like they got um, a lot uh, a variety of um, tea, so we will try to get inside the tea shop later. We just need to eat our lunch first, and then I want to go back to that um, gelato um, store as well because I want to buy some ice cream. There's also a um, cake shop here, local cake shop, where 
you can buy some cake decorations, cake ingredients, and some jams, honey. It's basically a mix of everything that you need for your baking stuff. just leaving um, Christchurch now we explored a little bit just around the area we didn't even um, go inside anymore because um, we wanted to visit other places as well hi guys so we are now on our way to the castle um, prison this was built in the 13th century and um, has been partly destroyed and converted in the 16th century um, and uh, converted as a prison and it was used until 1996 and now it's been converted again into a hotel and um, tourist attraction so let's see what we can um, discover there some tickets to the mount we gonna go up there the lady said it's gonna be very steep so we need to stick on the um, foot path because it's gonna be dangerous if we gonna make our own <laughs> way we're gonna start here and climb up there so let's see Ooh. other people here that's wearing the shell cordovan <laughs> boots is gonna enjoy this 
trick. Made for this one. Is it? And that's the prison, guys. So, oh, oh nice view! Look at the skies, amazing. So we're almost on the top of the mound. Look at that. <laughs> Is it? Don't even try to Juan. Someone might just grab you there. Is the view from the map? So um, right at the back of me is the bridge of um, Sai. That one. And that's that area there is the library where we went earlier. So we didn't realize that it's just at the back. So we have to come back. And now we're here. The bridge of Sai, that one. Hi guys, so we're not sure where to go now. I think we're we're, we're finished with um, most of the tourist attractions, so we're just walking around now. Um, it's her 
surprise to end my day. I don't know, it's just appeared. I don't know if this was here since this morning, but yeah. Really tired. We are really tired. So maybe when we arrive home, we just gonna have a quick um, bubble bath and sleep. I don't want to eat dinner. Um, I'm not sure yet, but yeah. So I'm gonna give you an update when we're home. arrived home from our unplanned trip to Oxford and I just finished having my warm bubble bath and I had some wine as well to relax and um, now we're just preparing to be ready for bed and by the way before I forget and before the day before I'm gonna end this vlog and end the day um, I just want to greet my niece a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dean. Happy birthday, Jawline. And um, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, yeah, I love my nieces and um, my, my nephew to bits. And yeah, and I miss them so much already. And um, yeah, so let's continue. And it, um, it was an amazing trip. The weather was really nice. Um, the sun was out the whole time and the breeze was cool and um, yeah I have to remove my jacket guys because it was too hot for me um, walking around with the jacket with a very nice and um, hot weather so um, we went around we were lost in the first few minutes after we arrived in Oxford um, we were trying to figure out where to go and stuff like that because obviously we didn't plan anything <laughs> and um, after that we were able to figure out where to go and we visited a few nice places around the area and one of those is Budlian Library and um, Christchurch and apparently some scenes from Harry Potter was um, shoot there and um, yeah makes sense because um, the building the architecture was really nice although we didn't have enough time to go inside we were just around the area outside the building exploring the area we didn't even go to the free um, there are free museums apparently but um, we didn't even have time so if you're planning to visit Oxford I think it's best for you to visit um, one whole day because we were just there half a day if you're planning to go inside Boolean Library or Christchurch to explore I think it's better for you to um, go for a whole day trip so that you have enough time to explore the area so and then I also enjoyed going to the local covered market which consists of um, 50 local independent stores and we have to come back before we head to the train station before going home because obviously the gelato hogs treat me for some gelato and i was so happy um about that and um yeah and the thing that i forgot guys is to revisit the tea shop because i was looking forward to it as well because i want to look around because i think they have a lot of um variety of teas and obviously if you know me personally um, I love tea so much I drink tea every day so I was looking forward for that but obviously I forgot because of the gelato imagine yeah so anyway um, it was an amazing trip although again like what I said on the intro of this video we missed the train by five minutes because there was nobody in the till it's just one person and there's like a lot of customers queuing up so we missed the train by five minutes and um, so we took um, Elizabeth line which is really nice and still very clean and um, we got off at Reading and from Reading we took another train and um, yeah I think that's all on a Monday because we visited today is Monday um, for a Monday to go there there were a lot of people. I don't know if, because um, I think most of it are students 
because as far as I know, the, there were like um, 30 plus colleges there and it's a Monday, obviously. So I think most of them are students. Some are um, uh, tourists as well. So it, it's quite pretty packed on a Monday. And um, we went to the mound as well. So we were able to see, um, you know, a little view of the city and um, the sunset because we went there around I think four o'clock or five o'clock the sunset was quite early so we were able to enjoy the view as well so it was just a really relaxing and amazing day and um, a good walk as well which is our favorite me and hubs and um, we went to that local um, I forgot to mention we went to that uh, to that local chocolate independent chocolate store as well we didn't buy anything because i was looking for a dark chocolate which is my favorite but i didn't see any um that i like because most of them are like infused with different flavors so um i didn't buy anything but yeah i think it was a nice and amazing trip with the hubs and a good bonding so um i am looking forward now to doing more travel vlogs travel videos and travel around the UK or even outside the UK and I'm looking forward to share it as well with you in the future and hopefully um, we will be able to travel more and I hope I was able to give you a glimpse of Oxford and if you're um, planning to visit or revisit the area I think it's really good and it's a nice place if you want like a bit of a chaos and and you want to go a bit further for a quieter area because they have like big parks as well huge parks we didn't even have time to go to the botanical garden but yeah so i'm gonna end the video here i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully see you on the next vlog thank you so much bye